end on this episode of I Thought This Was Fake. We have some quotes from Rachel Zegler about the new Snow White movie. Now, when I say I thought this was fake, I heard about this story two days ago. I didn't record a video on it because I read the quotes. I'm like, this, this, this is a troll. There's no way. There is no possible way that these are actual quotes and the realistic direction of this movie. There's no way at all. So I didn't do anything about it. Now, it's everywhere. This is what's going to happen in the new Snow White movie. Here are quotes from Rachel Zegler. Let me begin. Rachel Zegler reveals that instead of skin as white as snow, the upcoming Snow White has a new take on the original story for the princess. You know, the original story that made you guys boatloads of money. You know, that story, one of the most iconic stories in Disney history. One of the, the flagship original Mount Rushmore products of Disney. Snow White. No, no, no. Again, modern Disney now. They know best. It fell back to another version of Snow White that was told in history, where she survived a snowstorm that occurred when she was a baby. And so the king and queen decide to name her Snow White to remind her of her resilience. You are going to cost this company more money than ever. Goes on to say, one of the core points of our film for any young woman or young person is remembering how strong you actually are. It is reported that the budget of this movie is over half a billion dollars. Just think about it. They filmed an entire movie before they realized that we are going to lose all of our money. No one's going to see this movie. It is going to be a hysterical flop. So they said, okay, you know what? We're going to we're going to delay this movie. We're going to reshoot the entire thing. Half a billion is generous with it. Generous. And recently we found out that the budget for the Acolyte, originally it was 180 million. That was what was being reported. Now 250 to 300. I'm assuming that's what marketing cuz they marketed the hell out of that show. This one 500 million would be a blessing for them. You essentially had to film two movies. And now you're going to spend, good lord, how much money on marketing? This, I mean, Little Mermaid, $140 million, box office hysterical flop. So to say that, yeah, it's going to be north of $140 million, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised at all if it's way past that end. They're going to lose everything. When I saw the trailer, I'm I'm going to admit this. I, I've said this on the channel. I made a review about it. The trailer wasn't bad. The trailer looked like Snow White. I'm not saying it's going to be the greatest movie of all time. I'm just saying that for a first trailer, it looked like the Snow White universe. Yeah, honestly, I would have made the whole thing CGI. Because it, it looks like there's 99% of CGI in every single scene. And I think the only things that aren't CGI is just Rachel Zegler, Gal Gadot, and whoever plays the prince. Everything else looks CGI, so might as well just do everything. Because I feel like the haircut doesn't really translate over to live action. So yeah, my first impression of the trailer was, okay, it looks like Snow White. Here in this description, it ain't Snow White, man. It ain't Snow White. There's a reason why... The original story, from what she's saying, that there's other versions of it throughout history. There's a reason why you didn't go with the other ones. There's a reason why Disney originally didn't say, let's go with this version. They went with the better version. The one that turned into a massive amount of money for them. A move that really helped their company out. They didn't go with this garbage other version. With, oh yes, remember who you are and your resilience of a young woman. Get the hell out of here. I don't know if Rachel Zegler believes that these days. You're out of your mind. Disney banked hard on an actress that has been recently in so many flops that they had to allegedly rig an award for her. She won some kind of Action Star of the Year award going up against Tom Cruise and Keanu Reeves that were in John Wick and, and Mission Impossible. She won Action Star of the Year for the Hunger Games movie. Are you out of your minds? 
Do you does does anyone believe that award at all? No. Does anyone believe the sincerity of Rachel Zegler now talking about what Snow White means to people and how what a great story it is? No. No, no. This is the same woman that was out there saying I should get paid for every second it's being streamed. It's not going to be streamed. If Disney Plus is desperately removing all this content because it's underperforming, there is no reason for them to keep Snow White on there. There is no reason for them to keep a lot of their content on Disney Plus right now. If they're going by pure viewership numbers, and at this point, I, I realistically ask the question to Bob Iger. Do you know how screwed you are as a company? This is going to be one of the biggest financial blunders in Disney history, in movie history. I think John Carter lost them like 200 something million dollars. This is going to be well past that. Well, way past that. It's going to lose half a billion dollars alone. And who know? I'm telling you, that marketing budget has got to be north of 200. And we're not going to hear about the full financial fallout until at least a year afterwards. Because I don't think even they know how bad it's going to be until the dust settles. But we're looking at a movie now. Like I said, I thought the trailer looked okay. I said it looked like a Snow White movie. I think they should have just CGI'd the entire thing. Obviously, we didn't get anything with a, with a story in it. I like the Seven Dwarves. I thought they looked how I would expect them to look. Yeah, to me, it looked like the trailer was doing everything right. And I thought, hey... There might be a chance this movie might squeak out with at least a dollar of profit. But now, nope. It's over. Rachel Zegler has gone out of her way to destroy a franchise. To destroy a company. And she's getting paid a lot of money. And she's going to be in a movie that everyone's going to hate. Not a single solitary person is going to go see this movie. Realistically thinking it's going to be good. In the end, what do you guys think about that? Till the end